So let's uh, talk to you about this special oil for a minute. Here's Mariangela. Uh, Mariangela says hello. She was very excited that we were going to talk about her oil. Um, her oil is having a facelift uh, the next time I get it. I didn't know that when I created this one. But Mariangela took over for her father in 2006. She's coming from three, three generations of olive oil makers. And I tripped over her on a trip to Calabria about five years ago, maybe four or five years ago. And it wasn't my intention to sell her oil because we already have a number of them. But we thought it was just so delicious that this it's a varietal that I didn't know about, 100% Karalea. Um, it was her own trees from her own land. And it was a female woman who was so, she was just so passionate. This was it, she was just so passionate. She was so much like me. And I kept saying, I'm gonna find you something. I'm gonna find you somebody. And then I was just like, Ugh, it takes me more time to find someone than to do it myself. Um, for me, oil is super important for the care of cheese. I'm not saying it always has to be like this small farm, boutique, beautiful, wonderful thing to use. But when you have mold on the rind and you don't wanna keep it there, um, you have a piece of cheese that's been open and it gets really dried out. You can take and rub some olive oil on the rind to wipe off some of the mold or to give it a nice sheen. You can take olive oil and rub it on the face of the cheese so that it seeps into the cheese and then it'll kind of help it go back to life a little bit when it seems a little bit tired. Um, so that's where I really like to use uh, the oil with what I have. And uh, there are traditions to use oil soaking in cheese, uh, cheese soaking in oil. So manchegan olive oil. Um, in Spain, they'll take a whole little of cheese and they'll like perforate it and they'll put it and let it sit in the oil because then it stays moist and it stays delicious for a long time. You can just take wedges, sometimes they take in Cuba cheese and they put that in oil too to preserve the cubes. Um, it's also kind of like a trick of the trade. You have a cheese that doesn't come out perfect. And so you can just uh, cut it into cubes, put it in a pretty jar, put some olive oil and you don't have to get rid of it in that way. Uh, but of course we all know how important, you know, how to the diet olive oil is, how good it is for you. And um, so the fun part is to just take and pay attention to the different flavors that you might have. Uh, the Caralea has, you know, a little bit of bitter notes, but it has a lot of creaminess to it, a bit of piquancy. And uh, this year's crop was a very good crop, but a small crop. And um, depending where you are geographically, you may have in abundance or not. In Spain, we had a very good crop. In Portugal, they had a so-so crop. 